Today's video is kind of a product review, but more than that, I want to share with you some important information about sunscreens and I want to tell you one of my favorite brands. But let's just talk about the topic of sunscreens. It's been controversial for years and that's because the chemical companies and the FDA have been telling us for years that the chemical filters they use in sunscreens are safe. For example, you've heard of PABA, that's how we always heard it, but PABA, para amino benzoic acid and oxybenzone, those are dangerous and they knew it and they didn't tell us that because they grandfathered those companies in and never made them test. That's wrong and it's at your expense and my expense and it can be costing us our lives because they're cancer causing. So you guys need to take responsibility and learn this stuff yourself from whoever you can. And that's why I try to step up and tell the truth when I've learned something like that. So the idea about filters are really important because that's what sunscreen's all about. And the only two safe filters are not chemical filters, they're titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And other than that, throw away any other sunscreen that you're using that uses any of those chemical ones. They're dangerous. As long as you're using one that has those two ingredients and the other ingredients that they put in there are pretty natural, you should be fine, but you don't want to support those chemical companies at your cost when they're just in bed with the FDA to make money at your expense. All right, so let's talk about what's the best way to choose a sunscreen. Well, for me, there's many different reasons to choose different sunscreens. Like if I'm going outside and I'm gonna be out there all day teaching golf, then I wanna put a sunscreen on my face. Although I wear a big hat and I wear like long thin sleeves, I still am gonna be out there too long to not wear it. So I wanna find a sunscreen that feels like it stays on, I don't have to keep applying, and it'd probably be a different one that I may choose that if I'm just gonna go out for a couple hours to the beach and or if I'm going out somewhere and I don't want anything really thick and looking white on my skin. When I'm teaching golf, I don't really care about that. So my favorite brand is a brand that's called 100% Pure. I love their stuff. Now I do have a link, like an affiliate link on my website, vidalspeaks.com. If you go under shop and you see recommended partner products, you can click on there. And if you guys love their stuff and you buy from them anyway, if you use my link, it always helps support the show and I appreciate that. But honestly, I've only put that there because I've been using their products for years before I even had that website and I like to share good things when I discover it. So this company is really pure. They use a lot of really pure ingredients and they have two sunscreens that I use. This one is a tube and it's a cream. They're both SPF 30 and this one says fast drying, which could be good. And then, and I always keep this because I like that it's small and it's got a lid on it. And the other one I use of theirs is SPF 30 and it's called Yerba, Yerba Mate Mist. And I like this one and I put this on when I leave my house, but I don't like to take the can. I don't want it to get accidentally sprayed and I don't really reapply that. And so I just put it on in the morning and you can see it's a little, like I'll do it here, see it's a little white powder like this. It's not powdery, but I can do it like this and then I can put it on. And it's not really leaving a white coating so much, but it does a little bit. All of these that use titanium dioxide or zinc oxide are gonna be a little bit white, but that's part of it. You just gotta learn. I mix it like with other creams to spread it or I put it under my makeup. And that's another reason that I pick certain sunscreens because when you put sunscreen on and sometimes you put makeup over it all like balls up and it's terrible. So you have to find one if you're using it under makeup that doesn't do that. And I've had success with these, but I like the two because it's a cream. I can also use it for my lips. I can put it on very specific areas. It's easy to carry in my bag. It smells beautiful. It's healthy. And that's why I love this brand. I tried others and I'm open to trying others. I know there's many healthy sunscreens out there and I look forward to trying more this year. But the main thing is, is don't use any sunscreen that has chemical filters. It should really only be zinc oxide 
or titanium dioxide. And if you're doing that and the rest of the ingredients are a lot of natural ingredients or all natural and organic, then you're probably pretty safe. And if you have a favorite sunscreen, please leave me a comment below because I would love to hear what that is. Now, before I tell you my last thoughts, I just wanna ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel because if you've learned anything, it's a great way to just say thank you because honestly, that's the single biggest thing you can do right now is to help me get subscribers. So thank you so much for those of you that have done that. Now, the last thing I wanna tell you before I let you go is that sunscreen in general has become kind of an obsession, but it's from the sun that we get our vitamin D. And we need our vitamin D levels much higher than you think, because on a blood test, they tell you that you're safe if you're like 20 to 40 or 30 to 40. But in my opinion, that's not high enough to be protected and safe, especially right now with coronavirus and all kinds of the pandemic and infections. And people are wearing sunscreen every every day, 24 hours a day, covering their body, walking with no sun on their body at all. To me, this is dangerous because you're just gonna lower your vitamin D levels and that's not good. And yes, you can take a vitamin D supplement, but I'm telling you, it's not a replacement for what you can get from the sun. So if you're gonna be out for seven hours, then yes, applying a sunscreen is good. But if you're gonna go out for 20, 30, 40 minutes, then sit out in the sun or walk out in the sun without it and get your vitamin D. It's important. All right, you guys, if you've learned something, subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure and check out my other videos.